Hi guys, me again. So in the introduction video that I did, I told you that we'd have a few chats about mental health. And I thought, well, while I'm having a low night, we'd do that tonight. Um, or this morning, technically, I think it's after 12. It is, it's quarter to one in the morning. So a bit about my mental health, I suffer from severe anxiety. Um, I suffer from depression and emotionally unstable borderline personality disorder. Having these three issues clashes a lot and my anxiety can be so bad that I've got to be locked in the house. Um, obviously, I think I've told you before that I'd, I'd obviously got my key so I can get out if anything was to happen. But it's easier for me to feel safe and secure if somebody else locks the door for me. So when my husband leaves, he'll lock the door on a night time. Um, and it's just, it's a coping mechanism, I suppose. Um, the depression bit, I've, I was diagnosed first at 15 with depression and it was quite obvious I think back then but now that I've been given the diagnosis of emotionally unstable borderline personality disorder I struggle to find the difference between the two at times so well not the difference when I'm having an episode as I call them I struggle to figure out if it's depression or if it's the personality disorder. So borderline personality disorder is a mental health disorder and it's more commonly diagnosed in women that are either pregnant or have just had a baby. So I don't quite know why, I don't know if it's chemical imbalance or change of hormones or what, but I was diagnosed um, while I was pregnant with my youngest. So with this illness, I suppose, disorder, it's technically disorder, disorder's in the name. Um, I struggle massively with emotions, so I struggle to process them, I struggle to understand them. Um, I struggle to express them. So for me, it's easier to say to my husband that I'm having an episode rather than to try and explain how I'm actually feeling because I can't get that across and then try and explain what caused it. Mental health has no rhyme or reason. Sometimes there is nothing to have caused it. So... It's easier just for me to say I'm having an episode. I know I'll be alright, I just need this time. So one of my coping strategies is distraction. Um, and generally it works quite well because I, I know how I'm feeling as I go into a dip or into an episode. <coughs> so... I know to start my distraction techniques early. So I'll work on the recipe book that I'm making. I'll work on my social media posts. I'll do something creative. I'll tidy up. Um, anything just kind of that needs intense thought or needs no thought at all. I can't do kind of an in the middle thing. Um, if you've got any tips or tricks on distraction or if you want to let me know what your distractions are then do drop a comment below. Um, if you have the same or similar diagnosis then uh, let me know your stories if you're able to. I know some people can't open up or talk. Um, some people can't even admit that they've been diagnosed or can't ask for the help to be diagnosed. 
to me it's easier to have the diagnosis so if people talk about labels if there's a label on it I can say right that's what it is I can move past this so during my episodes like right I'm just having a mental health moment I'll be fine in a bit I'll be fine tomorrow depends so tonight I know I'll be all right tomorrow I just need to get through tonight another coping strategy which seems obvious but some people just can't do is I try and sleep I try and sleep through kind of my episode so I'll just kind of lie in bed no devices um as you can tell it's nearly one o'clock in the morning so I am getting tired but I thought I'd share a real life bit um of what mental health is this is fully unscripted I haven't even got my um phone holder so that's why the camera's shaking because it's in my hand I think mental health is something that we all need to talk about we all need to be completely real about and open about for those of us with mental health issues disorders conditions illnesses then we need to raise our voices and educate and inform other people because for me thankfully my husband was there throughout my diagnosis book throughout the diagnosis procedures and it was easier for him to hear it from a professional than for me to try and explain it so to me that I'm grateful for that I had that chance my husband generally understands but other people don't have that I understand they don't have that they haven't got any kind of network around them like I said before some people can't face the fact that they need a diagnosis or that they need some form of help and they suffer in silence and I think suffering in silence hurts more than just you um, and it doesn't benefit anybody it really really doesn't if you have a mental health issue and you have a really bad day at work you can go to your manager and say this is my issue or you can just drop a message somewhere you never ever have to go face to face but it can then help your manager understand why you haven't getting A, B and C done um, or that you might need that bit of extra help a bit of extra time um, and it's sometimes a label can make it easier if I go to my manager and say, right, I've got emotionally unstable borderline personality disorder, I'm having a bad day, I can then ask them to go and Google what that actually is. And Google can, can be your best friend in some situations. So they can understand a bit more, because I can't put it across what my diagnosis means or what my condition is. I can tell you a little bit about what I go through but I can't tell you what I'm feeling about it because I don't know I don't understand that bit I can't control my emotions I can't process them so for me to try and say right I'm feeling this way because or I'm feeling like I've done something wrong because I can't do it like I said before, mental health has no rhyme or reason, so sometimes try and explain what's actually caused it. There isn't an explanation. And I think that bit can be frustrating. So it's just easier to say, I'm having an episode, I'll be alright. Fine. I'll get through it. I'm fighting a battle. But that battle is won. Or there is a victory of that battle. Every time you pull your head off the pillow, every time you open your eyes, that's a victory. 
my Instagram post this evening was about suicide prevention and how we can all fight. Some days you might not feel like it's worth it or you might feel like you're losing. But if you've opened your eyes that morning, that afternoon, that evening, then you're winning. And I think that's something that we all need to hold on to. Not every day is the same. It, I have hard days. I have easy days. And the easy days, I kind of forget what I felt. I forget what was going on. I forget a lot because I suffer from memory loss, but that's a different story. If you've got any tips and tricks that you feel able to share, um, drop a comment down below. You never know. Your tips and tricks might help somebody else who might even save a life. If you ever feel the need to talk, get me on Instagram. It's Kaz Thompson Creates. I'm generally always open to a chat. Because like I said, even the smallest things can save a life. And having a bad day, a bad week, a bad month still isn't worth a loss. If you've opened your eyes, that's a victory. Celebrate it. I don't know really what else to say, but like I said, any tips, tricks, distractions, um, because I work, I cook, I clean, they're my general distractions. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you get through your episodes or get through with your mental health. I'll talk to you in the comments below. Thanks guys, good night.